Today's live stream, day five, schoolie camping. So I am uh, actually in the process of washing my dishes here. So I'm going to do that because that needs to get done so that I can, I don't know, make tea and stuff later. But I'm just going to talk to you while I do that. How's everybody doing? And give folks a chance to uh, find the find the live stream, find the chat. While I work on this, I I treat my um my stainless steel cooking pan like I treat cast iron because you actually can treat steel. So I don't use soap on this, and that helps it to be like kind of naturally non-stick. And uh. I don't know, I like that. I don't even, I, I don't use non-stick spray for fucking anything, unless there's literally nothing better. I'd rather use like butter or oil or something. Anyway, this is from last night's dinner that I cooked before I came live and started hanging out with y'all. And yeah. <laughs> It's been dirty since then, so I, yeah, I gotta get on top of this. Fortunately, I only have, like, two dishes, because that's all I need, so. Just gonna get this done. Hey, Satan, knock it off. Now, you might notice that I'm wearing some interesting relics today. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't do a whole lot today. I pretty much just like got high and sat around listening to music and uh, watching, or I guess rather listening to uh, YouTube videos and podcasts and shit like that. Because, I don't know, sometimes you need a day off. Hi, welcome everybody. How's it going? Thanks for joining me today. Now, in case you missed the memo, I am going to be doing these streams daily for at least two weeks. So, um, I started coming up with ideas that I can do to kind of keep it engaging. And I think that during the duration of that, I'm going to be wearing something or a couple of things. And throughout the stream, you can bid on them, and then at the end of the stream, um, I'll take the person's name and address through whatever payment method they're doing and send it out. So today, I'm wearing this bowler, which is slightly too big for me. It used to fit me perfectly when I had the dreads, because, you know, it fills in a little bit of space. I guess I could take the size measurement. I found this hat in a free box at the first punk house that I guess the first punk house party that I ever went to and yeah that was like uh, many 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 years ago so if you're interested in acquiring this delightful bowler hat Make a bid in chat, and y'all can sort it out that way. And whoever's got the highest bid by the end of the stream, I'll uh, get it boxed up and ship it to you. There is another thing that I'm wearing that uh, that I would like to go to a good home. It's this, uh, fucking crazy-ass Herkimer diamond. So if you're into that, this is, on its own, at least an $80 rock. If not $100, it's a fucking genuine Herkimer diamond, and I wrapped it, uh, created some netting around it so you can wear it. Alright, got that all done with. Fuck. Yeah, I haven't really been doing a whole lot today. 
I guess I moved around some of this wood here so that I know what left. And um, I did not set up a tent. And I did not pull out my other stuff from the back of the bus. Ah, now I can see. Oops. I'm just going to check in the chat here. Beer twenty dollars today. Don't lowball me, guys. Come on, I'm I'm actually being really cool about this. Ooh, the shirt. Oh yeah, the shirt is also up for uh, up for bidding. Check this out. Yo, corn in the USA. That's for sure. Also for auction. This vest, not so much. This is, um, this is a handmade fucking keepsake that I'll probably keep it. Chris dead yet. Fucking go for it. Play my songs. That's awesome. That's great, guys. I love it. Love it. Okay, I guess I can't have the phone there. See, there's, there's a lot of dead spots. Most of... Most of this uh, area is dead spots. I've wandered around my camp checking on um, where I get reception. And it's like, in a lot of places, I get it good. But then in certain places, there's just no reception at all. So that's what was going on there. Whoops. Oh, yeah, I pulled out this little cart here. I was using it to drying rack for my stuff. Clever. I fucking love grocery carts, especially the the middle-sized ones. They're great. They're wonderful. Chris Pye says, thank you. I'll shoot you the version when it's done. That's awesome, man. You're definitely not the first person to cover one of my songs. And actually, that one has been covered uh, a couple of times by people that like it. And they've sent it to me. I really like, um, I like that. I, I think that's just fucking, that's dandy. I love that you guys enjoy my stuff and that you want to learn it. Super simple. That song is pretty simple. It's the timing that's a little tricky. Well, let's see. Let's see. Start the bidding at one million dollars. Seriously, this hat, like, make an offer. I don't know about you, but um, I I love bowlers. Let's see. Does it say the size on here? I wonder. <laughs> it's an elope brand. Yeah, it doesn't say the size on here. Huh. I don't have... Uh, I should have... I should have something to measure that with. Anyway. Yeah, hit me up through email if you're, um, if you're looking to contact me about a specific thing that I'm not showing right now. Uh, like my pile of weapons in the back. I, um, I have like... I have music equipment that I I haven't taken inventory of. Oh, excuse me. Am I so burpy? Oh, I want to see this in the camera. Yeah, that's nice. From from where you're at, it's kind of hard to tell, but like, um, the cool thing about Herkimer diamonds is that they get like little rainbows trapped in them. Ooh, to the untrained eye, you might think that this is just a piece of quartz, but it's very much not a piece of quartz. <laughs> is it one size? What do you mean? It's a fucking necklace, you weird bitch.
Yeah, Tay, it would cost me, like, over $20 just to ship that fucking spear. Like, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Have you ever played it on live? Yes. I play... How... Do you know me from in real life, or, like, how how did you hear my song in the first place? Um, wow, there's a lot of people rolling through today. I'm gonna get up for just a second here, because, wow, look at them go. Cause I want to find stuff. Uh... Yeah, look at look at over there. They're just zooming across the desert. Look at zoom. I'm jealous. Jealous. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's the fucking weekend, huh? Yo, check out these pants. <laughs> um, I've I've actually been carrying these fucking pants in my stuff for like years and years and years. I've like patched them up, you know, especially in the butt. And uh, I had to patch up on the inside, like the whole the whole ass got ripped up. But guess, uh, check it. These fucking pants are um. They're trip pants. They're like the only khaki colored trip pants that I think they ever made. And they're from like 2004 or something. Straight up. <laughs> they have the same waist size as I did when I was in like ninth grade. <laughs> so funny. I did get really, really fat for a few years, uh, like post high school. And didn't fit into any of my old clothes, but I saved these because I was like, I, I will fit these again one day. I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna get out and get hiking again instead of doing drugs and being drunk all day and laying around eating pizza. But you know, it was a good run. Sometimes that's what you want to do: is uh, get drunk and do drugs and eat pizza and get fat all day. No shade. It was a time, that's for sure. <laughs> Corn needs a buggy. I know, right? I do. I really do. Sometimes I treat my Subaru like a buggy, and I shouldn't because I need to get an alignment really bad. That is one thing that I need to do. Um, but my main my main goal right now is to replace my bus battery, which is totally in my reach now. Um, but it's gonna take up pretty much all of the proceeds from, uh, the items that y'all donated for. So there's, there's that. If you want to get down with the kick down, help out, then, uh, there's links in the description to my PayPal and my Venmo. I, I've decided that I'm probably, what's probably going to go down is I'm just going to be living in this bus, selling all my shit out of it, except for like the tools that I'm using to fix it up. Cause I, I want to work on this bus and make it like um, like, yuppified or whatever, make it super nice and sell it for so much more than I paid for it. Um, so, yeah, me in the bus is probably going to be a thing for the next few months. And we're, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I ran out of beat money a long time ago, and there's nobody out here to tattoo. Um, and... You know, when I was down in slabs anyway, I was, like, too distracted for whatever. There will probably be a point in the not-so-distant future where I will bring the boss back down to slabs and uh, work on it down there some. And, uh, you know, use some of our scrap laying around in the in the library yard to fix it up. Uh, that sort of shit. There is a piece of of thick metal there that I was intending to use for one or two steps for my staircase because it's kind of falling apart.
Hey, what's up, conspiracy theorists? Chris Parr says, I've been following you since 2015. Some upon a documentary on Slab City. Nice. The hat is great. Well, Kim, it can be yours for whatever price. Nobody's made any bids yet. So, make a bid. Make a bid in chat. Can I can I get a twenty dollars? Who wants to who wants to um, bid twenty dollars on this fine piece of memorabilia? Found it in the first crust punk house party free bin that uh, I had ever encountered. Plus shipping, yeah, twenty plus shipping. <clears throat> um, it's kind of like a pseudo velvet. It's it's definitely a costume hat, like, but <coughs> excuse me, but um, I mean, it's proper. It looks good. Ooh, it's got some fuzzy on it. Looks good. Wears good. Make you look fucking sharp. Could add like a cool hat band to it or something. Sam says, Chris, it's played in many live streams. Just gotta watch the recordings. Yep, yep, yep. Is it beaver? What? If it was a beaver hat, that would have been, like, the first thing that I would have mentioned about it. <coughs> you goofball. That's a nice truck. Hi, buddy. Yeah, just stare at me. Don't wave. Fuck you. Rude. Rude. Maybe they didn't see me. That's fine. I just like getting riled up over nothing. Just, uh, yeah, I'm just kidding. I don't. I just say silly stuff sometimes. <laughs> so, <yeah. coughs> oh, fuck. So you remember the other day when I made that joke? I was like, I never cry. I, I didn't even cry when I was cut out of the womb, I just got spanked by the doctor and turned around and shook his ha hand and said thank you as I put on my boots and, you know, went to work in the factory or whatever, like, something stupid like that, like, I've never cried in my life, and then somebody commented, like, taking me 100% seriously, like, <laughs> oh, you never cry, that seems very unhealthy, no wonder, um, no wonder you have, like, mental health problems or something like that, and I'm like, yo, <laughs> It's, uh, it's not that serious. Holy fuck. <laughs> like, I, it's so funny. <coughs> Sometimes I get concerned for y'all, like, like, <laughs> is there, is there no, like, assessment beyond hearing something that somebody says? Do you just, like, like how much of your life do you live just, like, basing your understanding on a fallacy that's, like, very, very silly. <laughs> oh, thanks, Kim. Kim's Nature Channel just kicked down three dollarinos. Thank you very much. It's so cool. <laughs> Tira says, hi, Corn. Hi, Satan. Hey, Satan's sitting outside in the sun right now. She's being a little sun dog. Look at that dingus. Wow. What a baby. What a baby. Hey, I know what you want to do. Pretty sure you want to play ball. Pretty sure that's what you want to do, right? Is that what you want to do? You want to play ball? Are you sure? That's what you want to do, huh? You want to play ball? Alright, I gotta get on my shoes. I was a chronic non-shoe wearer for so many years. 
It feels like really stupid to have to wear shoes, but um, I do because I don't have any way to replace the foot shell anymore. So right now it's being held together by duct tape, you might be noticing, which is not great. The duct tape is great. Some fucking industrial grade fucking badass duct tape that I found in a parking lot. But um, yeah, the situation is not great because I have uh, medical equipment for my physical handicap that's falling apart and no way to um, really replace it right now. So, if you found joy in my adventures, feel free to uh, get down with the kickdown. You don't gotta be a baller to drop a dollar. That's right. Ain't no nation like donation. <laughs> That's a dog. The echo here is so cool. Woo! Come here, pup. Come on, baby. Look at you, dusty dog. Look at you being a super cool Satan dog. Wow, wow, wow. You're so cute. You're so cute. Okay, I'm going to set up the camera like this. Let's see. Let's see if we... Zoom. I can't really tell if she's on camera. Anyway... What a spoiled little brat. Satan's great. She's the best. Oops. <laughs> Ain't no city like generosity. That's right, Johnny Dank. Hell yeah. If you're... A current or ex street punk or uh, dirty kid or oogle. Tell me your favorite spange uh, one liners or multi liners that you would use so I can add some more to my repertoire. Thanks, please, and thank you. <clears throat> Hi, sweetie. What a cute baby. What a cute baby. Oh, somebody is lost in chat. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm stranded here. So basically, I am on the run from the Cheese Dog Mafia because they did find me in slabs. And um, they were like socially destroying me through like the grapevine. The Cheese Dogs were feeding a narrative to um, the Bureau of Slab City Management. And yeah, and then Slab City got bought by um <laughs> td walton bought slab city for 50 dollars and he made it illegal to be cornelius in slab city so yeah the library was taken away from me immediately by some armed thugs i had to hide underground for like six days before they cleared out by the time i emerged there was nothing left but rubble 
now I'm stranded here with two running vehicles. Um, and, uh, because, um, because the Slabinati made an ordinance that I am banished to the Mojave, never to return to the Sonoran Desert again. So, you know, you gotta follow the rules. What, um, what the Bureau says goes, or the, I don't know, the, the... The board of elders they're like decrepit wasteland wizards that sit in an uh in a bunker one of the bunkers they just like they have like a cool stone egg-shaped table i don't know why it's like it's it's an oval table table and they like they have meetings there to discuss each individual that's ever camped in slabs and whether they like them or not or think they're cool and if they don't think that you're cool then um, then they do some, like, gang stalking shit. Like in, um, like in I Was Hunted in Slab City. Go to that Reddit, I Was Hunted in Slab City, to learn the real truth about the, the blinking light Morse code in the dark and, you know, um, all of that. It's, it's very, it's very serious business. It's very sad. Very sad what Slabs has become. It's nothing but, um... It's nothing but a glorified RV park running, run, run by a satanic uh, shadow government made up of, um, made out of like sand warlocks that meet in one of the bunkers and representatives from the cheese dog mafia. Yeah, nobody can stand up to them. There's no way. So that's why I'm here. Actually, my location is secret. No one's supposed to know where I am. But I trust you all as close confidants. And, you know, only people that... Um, only you can see my, my videos for some reason. And not the Cheese Dog Mafia or the Slabinati. Um, because of the computers. Computers made it like that. Don't ask me how it works. I'm not a fucking scientist. Hey, Satan. Satan's a re reformed cheese dog mafia member, but she still requires a lot of cheese. You know, habits die hard. Can't blame her. It was the way she was raised. She was a uh, cheese dog royalty. Very spoiled. You just, you know, you can't, you can't purge them of that um, cheese dog upper crust mentality they're bred for it you know she's she comes from a long line of cheese dog royalty but she has um she has greater loyalty to me the the badass um main character of this storyline she's like yo you saved my life from loud noises when i was a baby and i was scared and now i pledge fealty and my life's loyalty to you as your uh your co-pilot satan is my co-pilot my right hand baby she's my sweet cheese my good time boy is that right you're my good time baby yeah i hope that clears everything up folks i hope that um that you all understand my very serious situation. Fuck, I went on such a long rant about nothing. I'm gonna get fucking messages from people that take every word of what I just said seriously, and that's gonna be so fucking silly. I worry about you folks sometimes, I really do. I'm concerned for your... Uh, I'm trying to say this politely. <laughs> I'm concerned for... Um... For your basic comprehension. <laughs> oh, good lord. Alright, let's catch up in chat. <laughs> oh, good god. Oh, 
Well, I got a lot of, um, <laughs> Sam says I'm stranded here with two running vehicles. Yeah, there's, like, I, I legitimately can't figure out a way to leave this place with, with all of these vehicles. And, um, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, you know, I'm really suffering out here with all of my off-grid equipment that I've amassed over the last 10 years. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing out here in the desert. It's, uh, it's a grim situation. Yeah. Never learned how to light a fire, so that's gonna be a challenge. And how am I going to, um, how am I gonna keep myself warm inside of my school bus that I built out in Minnesota in the dead of winter when it was negative 18 degrees? I just have no idea. It's a mystery. Hi, baby. I'm in such a sarcastic mood today. I'm so sorry. If you're confused by all this, then go watch my other videos and catch up because I'm not going to fucking spoon feed the same information you guys over and over and over again. Go watch some fucking Slab City... Dangerous, I survived 12, 24 hours in Slab City videos or like, you know, the real story of the Slab City Mafia. I was hunted in Slab City. Woo! I love that fucking story. It's so funny. Uh. After you've read it a couple times, you like... You can clearly identify the part where he smokes some weird tweak. And it just starts getting, like, hella paranoid. Because, like, he never actually encounters anybody in that whole story. He just sees, like, blinky lights in the background and just assumes that it's, like... <laughs> it's, like, a hunting party that's after him. <laughs> and then he jumps into the canal and, like, covers himself in mud. And he's, like, fucking barrel rolling across the desert because he thinks that people are chasing him but he literally never never encounters anyone it's all just like he felt scared <laughs> it's so good <laughs> i was scared in slab city <laughs> ah oh yeah oh, yeah that's super good that's so funny hey baby all right who wants this fucking hat Twenty dollars, thirty dollars. I'm gonna raise it for no reason, even though nobody else bid on it. Thirty dollars for this delightful bowler hat. I'm gonna throw it in a trash can then. I'm just kidding. Why am I so spicy today? Huh. What is it? What am I lacking? Maybe I need a cigarette. More caffeine too, probably. But I'm. It's too late for all that. Hi, sweetie. Are you getting tired yet, dum-dum? I'm getting tired. I'm just kidding. I'm not getting tired. I'm getting bored. Actually, legit, I am fucking... I think I was mostly just bored today. Um, I don't know. Because... Because I've been fucking traveling around for the last two years... And just when I, when I start getting kind of like, even slightly bored, I'll just fucking dip. Okay, fine, fuck you. Eat shit. Can't play if there's no throw. No throw if there's no take. Um, so like, it kind of just hit me, I'm like, yo, I'm, I'm kind of bored today and I, I can't just dip out because I'm doing a thing. Working on my bus and making it nice so that I can have money so that I can go and do adventures. <clears throat> and then, you know, it's like, oh, that kind of sounds like having a job, doesn't it? I mean, because it basically is. I'm like a. <laughs> I'm like a fucking 17th century shipbuilder, you know? But, yeah, I guess it's kind of, it's kind of like a job. It is a job. 
just going to keep building it out unless somebody hits me up and they don't want me to do anything because they're just going to gut it anyway and rebuild it from scratch, in which case that would be a different story. <coughs> but if I can raise the money to do all this maintenance stuff, um, then I could be pretty fucking well set up after I do, after I do flip this. So, um... If you want to send a donation to PayPal or Venmo, if you uh, put your mailing address, I know most of you in chat now have already done that, but if you haven't yet, add your mailing address with your donation, and uh, I'll send you something, something in the range of what you send me, because I need to move stuff out of the way, you want to help me out, and you want a little piece of memorabilia before it's all gone. It's just like, you know, I'm just kind of, um, I was getting at earlier, I'm getting antsy. I want things to move faster. I want to like already have everything out of my way and have the money to fucking start doing the flooring and adding, you know, cabinets and things that you people seem to like so much. Um, I don't like them. They're in my way. I think that they take up too much space and all your stuff takes up too much space. I like to spread my treasure out between hordes. That's just me, though. You know, you, you do your own thing. I'm not judging you. Um, I just, I don't understand it. You don't have to understand somebody to respect them. Let's see. De says, one step at a time. I have lots of confidence. You... We'll do fine. If you're referring to getting the bus all good and going, then yeah, I will. I will. Even if I just do a little bit every day, you know, if I'm making conscious choices all day, every day with the intention of getting closer to my end goal of having this place looking super fucking great <clears throat> and like up to yuppie standards. And, you know, whatever, then it'll, it'll happen. Just got to do it day by day. I'm not, like, stuck in a dead-end job in a fucking city that I hate, in an apartment that I can't stand, and, you know, I'm out in a beautiful environment. It, it bears showing again. Yes. I'm out in a beautiful environment that I enjoy. The weather's fucking excellent. I can just hang out outside all day long, and I'm not... <clears throat> not really spending much money because there's nothing out here to spend money on. And I have, uh, yeah, I have a bunch of non-perishable food that I'm kind of working on eating, but mostly just not eating a whole lot anyway, which is good because I'm, I'm taking all these vitamins and like digestion supplements and liver supplements and good stuff trying to do kind of like, I don't know, a cleanse, like a body cleanse. Because, eh, why not? It's a, it's a thing. It's a thing that we do. So, what better time to do it than when I'm in the middle of nowhere, completely isolated, with no distractions and nothing to spend all my money on, and no temptations and whatever, while I'm also um, actively trying to get rid of all my stuff, as one does. <clears throat> Mm. Uh, Sam says I gotta get cash in two weeks. Hopefully cool shirts will still exist then. Um, I'm sure there will still be cool shirts that exist <laughs> that are mine that you can, um, that you can donate for. Mm -mm -mm. Fucking clove cigarette. Wow, it's already like at 40 minutes of fucking streaming. That's crazy. I was like, yo, I did nothing today. I have <clears throat> nothing to fucking talk about, or so I thought. How am I going to fill up today's hour of streaming? Amazing. That's crazy. It's wild. Look at that. 
There goes the sun. Bye bye, sun. There's that dog. Yep. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, there's really not too much stuff they gotta get through at this point. And then uh, somebody was trying to buy my guitar, my bass guitar today. They are messaging me in the Discord. If you're not in the Discord, you should join the Discord. <clears throat> so that if you are curious about something that I may be selling or whatever, then you can contact me directly on the Discord. Join the Discord. Oh, yeah, there's another thing that I'm doing with my Patreon. Um, so I decided last night, as I posted an exclusive video from one of my very first train rides, um, I decided that I'm going to be posting one short a day, and it will be unlisted in the only place that you can get that um, <clears throat> that link to see that you know, short, minute or less long video that I have not released to the public. Um, you have to be a patron. So, yeah. We'll be posting one today. I actually looked back in my fucking Google Drive and shit, and there was, like, <coughs> there was, like, little short clips from when I was hitchhiking across Alaska and shit. So that, that'll probably be coming out, too. I'm just gonna do, like, whatever cool adventure I was thinking about in the evening and posting a short every day. So if you want access to those cool, um, you know, cool little inside looks into adventures past, then join my Patreon. You can pledge $1 a month and have full access. You can pledge $30 a month too. That's always cool. But yeah, whatever you can handle. And then, uh, if you're fucking, if you're broke as a joke like I am, then legit, everybody gets the same prizes. It's just, like, on your honor. I'm super not into, like, monetary hierarchy. I don't know. <laughs> Is my bridge infected? What the fuck are you talking about? Why do people ask such, like, assumptive questions? It's wild crazy. <coughs> Sam says, so weird looking at two angles of the sun at the same time. Bye from Corn's Place. Hello to Australia Place. Are you in Australia? That's cool. I bet the night's guys amazing yes fireside it's pretty amazing it's like so clear out here you can see yeah you can see the stars fucking so clear it's uh very striking every time i go out to take a piss i like forget what i'm doing for a second as i stare up at the sky and i was like why am i standing out here in a t-shirt and underwear or my fucking joggers <laughs> oh yeah I was just taking a piss, and I got caught up in the fucking magical night sky. Wild. Good stuff. Oh yeah, also join my Instagram. Thanks. Thanks, Captain. Oh, and, um, oh, yeah. I don't know what else to tell you. I guess nobody wants a sick-ass bowl, or maybe somebody will hit me up after the stream and be like, yo. Oh, well. It does look good coupled with a jaunty vest. Nobody bid on the hat yet, my opinions. I was just, like, thinking about that. Like, wow. I was really expecting people to take that. Maybe, uh, maybe Wasteland Barter Channel is a bust. Maybe y'all don't appreciate my my strange wares from the depths of time and the wastes. Mm -mm. 
Oh, it's all right. Sam wants this t-shirt for 50 bucks. You want corn in the USA? That's badass, man. <laughs> um, but you said you don't get paid until later, so I'll, uh, I'll hold on to it for you. Push the thumbs up. This stream is so cool. Thanks, Day. Yeah, hit your fucking little, little thumbs up button there, if, uh, if you would. If you would just take a moment out of your chilling, whatever the fuck you're doing. Unless you're driving, maybe wait until later, but yeah, yeah hit the thumbs up button. Appreciate ya. Mm. I'll include a cool pin for this hat, too. It's not... I mean, it, it is a little dusty right now. I do have to wipe it down a little better. I just pulled it up out of my my cool shit reserves while I was looking through my other stuff today. Ew. Perfect for an Aussie. Yeah, corn in the USA would be a fucking... It would be exponentially cooler worn in not the USA, for sure. Especially since it's so, like, cheesy, too. This is, like... <laughs> Like, he's got, like, a little, they've got the little fucking bandana on. Oh, look, and they're, they're wearing fucking jorts. <laughs> and the fucking leaves are their, um, their shirt. That's pretty good. And there's, like, a bunch of, what is that? Local shops from wherever this, uh, came from. That's funny. Hell yeah. <laughs> This vest I actually traded um, some of my original art for out in Joshua Tree when I first hit the road, so I'm not in a hurry to part with this. <clears throat> yeah, local stores. Gibson's, All-American Aggradates, Inc. Lidco, Tractor Supply Company. Robert and Kathy Pryor. Hydraulic and bearing. Nonadora's authentic Mexican food. Yeah, good stuff. It's real, um... It's, it's real Americana. <laughs> oh, delightful. Anyway, how was y'all's day? Tell me about what... What you did today. You entertain me now. <laughs> Mm. I'm just gonna get like super stoned. If I was still drinking today, would definitely be a drinking day. I'm like, I I woke up just not wanting to do shit. In Texas, said uh, got a crystal sugar shirt. Yeah, I do. Um, those are like given out only to American Crystal Sugar employees. Yeah. I got, um, here, let me see if I can find it. You want my, it's a, it's a large, I think. Uh, yeah, I'll go grab it in a sec. I want to keep the first one that I got. I only need one, though, because it's got the, the first year that I started, but I got another one this year. Let's see. The only reason I give it to you for that price is because you fucking kicked down to me uh, so many times, so. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. Yes, I keep my clothes in a fucking waterproof sea bag thing. <laughs> Let's see. Where is it? Wow. <clears throat> That's not it. This one's kind of cool, too. I got, uh... This one says... I've had this since, like, high school. It says, Lifestyles of the Poor and Aimless of the Twin Cities. I don't know what it was from originally. I got it at a thrift store. It's pretty, pretty dang cool, though. I think it's cool. 
Um, where are you? Up to date t shirts. Ah, I think I found it. <clears throat> This is the one from 2022. American Crystal Sugar. It's got the, yeah, Sweet Harvest 2022. I was thinking about dyeing it, like, darker. Because I, I don't know. Maybe you like the blue color, and I, and that's cool. But, you know, if you know me, you know that I only wear, like, black and earth tones. So... Yeah. <clears throat> Sam says, I love how you keep everything in dry bags in the desert. This is how mistakes don't happen. <laughs> well, I'm not always in the desert. That's that's the thing. Also, it just like it's it helps keep everything organized and shit, and that's just what I have. I like to keep lots of dry bags. It's just good. Oh, I got my own personal reprobate t-shirt. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to part with this one. It's good. I got it cut like I like it, you know, with the, with the sleeves cut off so you can show off your big muscles or your scrawny muscles. That's okay, too. <laughs> Sally says, today I made mac and cheese with hatch chili flakes. No, that's awesome. Good on you. I actually made mac and cheese too. Believe it or not. In Texas says, PayPal sent. Why isn't it turning up? Oh, no. I wonder if people have gotten down with the kickdown during this stream. And I'm just not seeing it because my settings got changed on Do Not Disturb. That's kind of whack. Well, I guess I'll see them afterward. Um, that, yeah, that's annoying to me. Okay, well, anyway, I'll, <clears throat> I'll write that down in my little notebook and send it out to you next time I go into town. We got one item sold, baby. Yeah, see how easy that was? So easy. So easy. This I'm not getting rid of. This is one of the few things that I'm keeping. But I just want to show it to you. Because it's fucking good. I got this. Oops. Oh no. I have to sew it a little bit. But uh, I wonder what happened. Anyway. This is from the Dalton Highway. I got this at the gift store in Coldfoot while I was hitchhiking up through Alaska. It's neat because it tells you about it too. Over 400 miles of gravel winding through the Arctic wilderness. The lifeline of the Trans-Alaska Pipeline. Driveway for rural residents and gateway to the Earth's most magnificent wilderness region. Truckers, miners, and indigenous residents working together against the elements to help each other subsist. More traveled by caribou than man. The last great highway on Earth. Wow. Pretty cool. I hitchhiked up that. It's a good time. There's a there's a series about that Alaska arc you should check out if you haven't seen it. Anyone who does the Dalton Highway is badass. Thank you. It was pretty intense. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Sam says, I'm eating roast turkey and bread Heidi style. I don't know what that means. It's got to be an Aussie thing, I think. AKA eating from the chunk. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sick. I buy clothes once every 10 years, whether I need them or not. <laughs> Hi. See, they waved. They can see me. Maybe the sun was, I don't know, whatever. Maybe the other people were just rude. 
Sam says, do you ever look into if your Alaska hitchhiking was a record of some sort? I don't, I don't think so, I'm sure. I'm sure plenty of people have done that. I know that people have, like, biked and walked it, too. That's, it's like, kind of, um, <clears throat> it's kind of a sought-after thing to do. Like, some hardcore bikers have, yeah, biked the whole Dalton Highway. It's, I didn't see anybody doing anything like that while I was riding up there. Um, but, I mean, yeah, it, it can be done. It's just sketch as fuck, because there's a lot of predators roaming around out there. Saw so a lot of them. <laughs> Musk oxes, bears, caribou, wolverines, etc. That's their property. That's their land. Chilling, waiting on dinner. That's funny. I caught a lot of you during dinner time. That's cool. You can hang out for evening dinner. Sam says the tractor dudes were cool. Yeah, that was that was neat. I kept passing up and being passed by the the tractor guys that were um dri they drove <clears throat> they drove their general purpose tractors all the way up to I I don't know if they made it to Prudhoe Bay. I didn't see them come through, but. Yeah, I don't remember if I saw them on my way back down either. That'd be interesting to find out if anybody ever wants to go down a rabbit hole and see whatever became of those guys. They were doing a drive to raise awareness for diabetes, which is cool. It, you know, doing crazy stuff to draw awareness is something that I'm a fan of. Kim's Nature Channel says there's a YouTuber named Max. He did the Dalton and ran into a guy riding his bike and trailer on the Dalton. Yep, that is a thing that people do. <clears throat> Mostly I met, um, I met a handful of people that were going up um, by motorcycle as part of like um, some type of goal. It's like, I think you can... There's, there's this big goal where you can ride all the way from Prudhoe Bay, which is like the highest point of any highway in the U.S., all the way down to like South America or some shit. And that's like a big bucket list thing for uh, all types of adventurers. So, um, yeah, a lot of it, a lot of people do it by motorcycle or something like that. I think that'd be fucking sick. <laughs> Conspiracy theorist is having pork rinds. Yeah. I want pork rinds. Fuck. Y'all are making me so fucking hungry. All I had was like, yeah, half a serving of mac and cheese today. And that's it. And now I'm stoned as fuck. Janine says, I want that hat. We'll buy it. This hat is for sale. I know one of you wants it. It's a good hat. Most of my things are for sale. There's a few things that are not. I need dollars so I can fix up this bus and sell it for more than I paid for it. Make it all nice for you fucking houseies. Nobody wants to work anymore. Nobody wants to chop their own wood and dig their own shithole. They want flush toilets and indoor heating. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I'm going to drink some water and put away my shit. Hey, let's make this hat instantly worth more. Watch this, this would be cool. All right.
All right. There it is. Now it's steampunk. There we go. One hundred dollars. Yeah. Now that's a look, eh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Captain says that's not a one hundred dollar. $100 hat all day. I think that you're trying to say something else. I was going to ask if you still had those glasses. I do. Check it out. It's got some of my own paracord between them, too. It's like extra throwback to a different era. Fuck. Yeah, if your head's slightly bigger than mine, then this will be perfect for you, because it's like... It's just slightly too big for me and wants to slide down now that I don't have my fucking mane. That's now a hundred dollar hat all day. Fuck yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Suddenly it's a fucking one hundred dollar hat. It's got like fish bones and shit glued to it. Yes. Yes. You know you want this shit. But nobody's partaking in bidding, so I guess I'm just gonna set it aside and you're gonna <clears throat> you're just gonna have to hit me up after the stream if you're interested. And uh yeah, hit me up on the Discord. Hit me up in on uh, my email, CourtneyLizVango at gmail.com. Or if you wanna be an absolute doll, a real sweetie pie, you can just drop some money into my PayPal or Venmo just out of the goodness of your heart because I'm trying to fucking Pull myself up by my bootstraps that I was born with. Because I was born with fucking boots on. <clears throat> Try to make a better life for myself, you know? Trade up all of these wonderful worldly possessions for some cold hard cash that I can use for gas and food for a long while. So I can focus on making videos again and documentary style videos. Because that takes a lot of work and equipment that I don't currently have. I mean, yeah. Like, my, my old computer, I've been using it for, like, six years now, and it started off not being quite enough to adequately do what I do on. So, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Trying to move equipment out that I don't need anymore to make room in my life for more minimalist, but also expensive gear that will help me to bring more entertainment to you. Including more train stuff, which we all love. I know you do. And uh, some international travels. Who wouldn't want to see some cool documentary style shit of me taking a dirt bike across the outback or some crazy shit like that? That'd be fucking wild. I'd do that. That's actually been on my bucket list since I was a kid. As an example, there's a lot of other things I could be doing too. Also, I fucking want top surgery at some point so that's uh it would be nice to have some funds to kind of rock off of during healing time whenever that does happen but i don't really even have any time for like anything medical right now because i'm in the middle of fucking blm land working on my bus U.S. 150 for up to four pounds weight. Corn in USA t-shirt glasses. That's the price to beat, folks. Or the glasses are mine in 12 days from now. <laughs> hey, there we go. I'm going to try and read it in your accent. All right, U.S. 150 for up to four pounds weight. Corn in the U.S.A. T-shirt and the glasses, hopefully. That's the price to beat, folks. All the glasses are mine in 12 days from now. That's probably not how you talk at all, but... Alright, that's how I'm reading it. That's how it's reading in my brain. <laughs> Got an eight-person tent here already set up. Oh, nice. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Fair dinkum. I don't know what that means. I've never heard that before. <sighs> Roach says, hey friend, been watching you since slabs. Glad to see you're still doing well. Hopefully life treats you great. Thanks, man. Uh, or or person, I hope that you are also doing well. <laughs> Sam says, brilliant. Brilliant. I don't know how to say brilliant in Australian. 
So the hat sold. No, that's just the bottom line bid. 150 bucks. Satan, get in here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. They're so close. Neat. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there. The first night we came out, um, around this time. No, it was just after dark over on that side of camp. Like, it sounded like 40 to 80 fucking coyotes just started going off. Real close to camp, too. There's a lot of them. And to the person that suggested firing off my gun to establish dominance... Fuck you, this is where they live. I came here to their house. I'm not gonna fucking come to a place that isn't mine and establish dominance. What the flying fuck kind of colonial bullshit? I'm sorry. I'm, uh... <laughs> They're fine. Just, you know, nowhere... Like, that's why I don't just let my dog wander around, especially at dusk or after dark, without me knowing exactly where she is. That's why it's, uh, you know, some, some of you fucking hippies are like, oh, I don't put my dog on a leash because that, like, inhibits his freedom and it's just like, you know, he's just like a human anyway. And it's like, no, <laughs> no, put, if your dog doesn't stay near you, train them to stay near you and to listen to your commands. And if they don't, and you're too lazy to do that, then keep them on a leash. You know, it's not, it's not that hard. If you're out in the fucking wilderness, the world doesn't care about, nature doesn't give a fuck about your, um, you know, your dog being like a human or whatever the fuck. Like, they don't give a shit. Know where your dogs are. Reaper was doing the head tilt hearing the coyotes. I'm sure, yeah. The whole point of being out in the wild is being one with the wild and respecting it. Yeah, that, and also there are other people camping, like, around the corner from me too, so that would be pretty rude to them as well. Just fucking popping shots off. Like, I mean, you're allowed to do that out here, but why? <laughs> Sam, the price of the hat, price of the hat went up. Hat and goggles. Uh, that's, I mean, come on now. I guess just the hat would, yeah, could be 30 bucks. I do want to restore the band on these goggles, but right now this is fine to fit on here. 
I'm I'm giving up on auctioning shit live because nobody is participating. So if you see this video and you're like, yo, I want that fucking cool ass shit you've got on your head, then send me an email at corneliusvango at gmail.com. I will add my email to the description. But that also means that a bunch of people are going to be like messaging me to comment on stuff and I will block you if you like just try to message me personally and like talk to me about stuff. Is you can just go to my Discord. Join my Discord. The email is for business propositions only. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Janine wants the hat, but is scared to bed. Well, that's fine. Forget Janine then. They don't. I don't care. <laughs> it's fine. Do you do any art? Yes, I do. I don't have any art here currently, but I have some pieces in slabs that I was going to try to sell eventually. Kim says, Corn, you gotta talk like an auctioneer. You know, people like go to like school for that shit. I don't even, you know how I talk. I talk slow and stupid. I can't even like, my best impression will be like, that's about that's what I hear anyway that's what it sounds like to me that would that's it's overwhelming <laughs> it's terrifying <laughs> uh I have admiration for people that can do that because I I can't even like comprehend what the fuck they're saying <laughs> It just sounds like shing da ding da ding 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 da ding 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 da da ding 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 ring a ding ding a ding ding ring da ding 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 kind of like um like trying to start up a fucking chainsaw or something <laughs> Roach says I mean that's kind of accurate yeah did you understand what I said I just sold my hat for four hundred dollars to Janine. I'll be expecting your payment in a timely fashion, Janine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks for playing. Oh boy. Well, we're a little past an hour, but... That's all good. Starting to get a little dark, and I'm starting to think about making some tea or something. Watch a, maybe watch a show if I have the attention span for it. Oh yeah, it's time for Satan's bully stick. Is it time for the bully stick, baby? No, drop it. No. Here. Look. Satan. Nope. Do you want this? Nice. It's crunchy dog time. It's time for the crunchy dog. No. She's like, where's the more? So spoiled, oh my god. Eat your treat. I'll play you. Um, I wish that I could see... Oh, here we go. I see a couple of PayPal. Um, whoa, shit. Okay, well, I just sold the base. Thank you very much for your payment, man, and the tip. Um, I don't know if you're watching. We spoke in Discord earlier. And um, in Texas, got down with the kickdown and also left a tip. That's fucking awesome. Thank you so much. Wow, you guys really set me up here. I'm going to be able to get... I'm going to be able to get some uh, supplies to work on the bus. Actually, now that I sold the base, I'll be able to get a little generator... And I'll be able to run my power tools out here. So now I'll be able to do some welding. And, um, you know, yeah. 
use my angle grinder and my saws and all the shit like that. That's very exciting. Um, fuck yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> well, the base is sold. And it's a beautiful base. I call her the Sea Witch. I've had her since high school. Take it very good care of her. Hey, time for a dab. You're right. You know what? I'm going to take a celebratory dab. That's a good call. Take a little celebratory dab. Woo! Yeehaw! God damn. Woo! Uh. That's great. That's delightful. Well, homies, smoke them if you got them. Whatever they may be. Oh, somebody's coming through on a cool ATV. Yeah. My hands are full. I didn't wave. But they didn't wave to me either, so I think we're cool. That's them small town politics. You know who I waved at and didn't wave back at me? Well, it was Mrs. Clincher from down the street. She saw me. We locked eyes. I waved and smiled. She did not wave back. And she drove on and just not even an acknowledgement. How about that? That Mrs. Clincher. I tell you. Something funny going on. Something funny going on over there. <laughs> Small town politics. You know who honked at the intersection in town? The only intersection in town? Nobody has ever honked there before. And it interrupted everybody's day. Everyone's talking about it. It was that new fella that just moved into town. Come out here from the big city. Fucking honking at people like he's in fucking L.A. or something. Shameful. <coughs> you know who he honked at? Old, old Ms. Um, I can't, I can't think of Smith. She's such a sweet old lady. Probably shouldn't be driving a truck at her age, but you know, it's, there's only the one intersection in town. <laughs> and the kid. Uh. Oh, boy. <laughs> there goes the neighborhood. Yeah, I'm losing light, and I really don't feel like setting up a light here. So I'm just going to leave you with a little ditty. Hang me out 
dry Sift through the ashes And heave a big sigh Cause I'm not dead yet And right now I'm fine In fact I might even be having a good time Cause I'm not dead yet And right now I'm fine In fact I might even be Having a good time everybody for joining me today i'll be back same time tomorrow at four hit me up at my email address if you're inter interested in purchasing any of my memorabilia or my wares i'm trying to get rid of everything and make sure you hit the like button hit the subscribe and um i don't know uh, join the discord join my patreon for exclusive daily shorts and I will catch y'all later. Hope you have a great rest of your evening. Goodbye.